everybody so for today's video i want to talk about how you can actually pause or resume your campaign inside rei reply you heard it right you can actually resume or actually pause your campaign at any time so let's find out when that's applicable <laughs> two instances when you would like to go ahead and pause your campaign so the very first one is let's say you found out that your delivery rate is really low and you want to make some last minute changes inside your campaign you can always pause it to actually stop all the events from coming out then the second one is basically when you're not yet ready to work on your campaign so for example you just come into work and you all of a sudden notice that you have launched your campaign so if you're not ready to attend to the text messages you can always pause it and go back to it at any time so let's go to my video to see how you can do that inside rei reply all right so in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually pause a campaign inside rei reply so once you're in the dashboard you just have to go under automations and then from automations click on the campaign section once you're in this dashboard you just have to basically click on the campaign you wish to pause so here I'm just gonna click on any random campaign that I can post then just click on that wait for a few seconds now you're inside the campaign setup so in the top right corner you will see this option where you can see publish so you can just toggle this to draft when you would like to pause your campaign so any one in the campaign will be listed as pause under the status tab later on in the campaign section but basically if you want to resume so when i click on draft it's going to say that it's no longer active but when you click on publish that means it's already active again Please take note that when you pause a campaign, it will only temporarily stop the actions from firing off. So meaning if you have this RVM, you've added 100 contacts in here when this is on draft, let's say only 20 contacts has been successfully delivered the next 80 it's still pending meaning to say it's going to be in the pause status so meaning to say it's not going to remove the contact from the campaign rather it's just going to stop the actions from firing off until it's actually republished all right so going back to the campaign section remember that there is an option for you to also see or there is an indicator for you to also see here whether your campaign is active or not status is published that means it's active when the status says draft that means the campaign is actually active there's another indicator here give me a second so one other indicator as you can see there is some um, a green color beside the campaign when that's green it means it's active when that's gray that means it's not active it's not an active campaign all right so going back to what i was saying pausing the campaign does not remove the contact from a bulk request but because when you you know when you're doing your campaign most likely you will also need to make sure that you have paused the bulk action from happening because the bulk action adds the contact to the campaign that's the process of adding them to the campaign so to make sure that let's say you want to pause you know you want to make sure that the rest of the recipients will not receive that same sms on the initial sms because you want to modify them because you know there is a flag word you would like to change on your initial sms you can do that by going into contact so basically you just put your campaign into draft mode and then from here go to bulk actions and as you can see you are running your campaign actively you can see that it's still processing or it's actually pending you will have an option here from bulk actions to you know three dot option and then from here you have the option to like cancel or pause so pausing this means actually pausing or stopping any contacts from being added to that same campaign so if you click on pause i'm gonna click on pause then what's gonna happen is that whatever contacts that's in my bulk request wouldn't be added into that same campaign so you pause that and then what you're gonna do is if you want to modify that same campaign go back to the campaign so assuming in draft mode because you want to modify you want to modify them refresh all right so you're back in campaign so if you want to modify them say you receive the first 20 contacts you receive 3007 error message so in here all you got to do is draft them earlier we were able to draft and then we can now edit this first initial sms so you can just change the sms to like you know remove any flag words inside of this template and then once that's modified all you need to do is basically publish this again so like when you publish you go back to contact so basically the process now is re-adding the 
whatever is left from the same contact initial contacts you've added on this campaign in this way you don't have to like recreate a new campaign instead you're just trying to resume whatever you know contacts you have initially added to that same campaign all right so please take note that those already in the campaign will just be resumed at the time the step were paused at and any time delays will remain so note that when you resume it it actually does pick up where it left off at and then it will wait on the time you have set up to send the next event so if we go back to your campaign whatever is the next event it's going to follow that so example sms if you pause it in sms1 and sms2 is going to happen after a 10 minute delay then when the campaign is resumed then the 10 minute countdown will begin again so yeah that's how it works